Hello, my name is Philip Gapsch and this video is about one prerequisite for capturing a panorama, the nodal point. Also called entrance pupil, nodal point is the name given to the projection center of the lens. To determine the position of this point in the lens, you need to know the height and the depth related to the tripod thread of the camera and set those at a Pixplorer. To avoid overlapping errors of particular pictures in the finished panorama image, the position of the nodal point has to be the same for every single picture. So the whole assembly has to be twisted in exactly this point to capture the panorama. For many camera and lens types, you will find these values on the Dr. Klaus website. If you can't find them there for your camera model or your lens, I am gonna show you how to determine them and adjust them at the Pixplorer. The depth adjustment is different for every lens and every focal length. Please note that you have to set the focal length you wanna use at zoom lenses. Additionally, the nodal point also moves at the most lenses related to the focus setting. At first you have to estimate the distance between the tripod thread and the diaphragm circa in millimeters. You can set this value now, but you should nail it down later. I recommend to make the experimental data mining of the depth value only if you are familiar with the use of the PIX blower already. Moreover, you need a bit patience for trying. At first you should search for an object near to you and one far related to the focal length. So you should step down to get a big depth of field. And I set the focus to infinite. The autofocus function has to be switched off. Switch your camera into the live view mode, if it is possible with your model. You can choose the distance of the near object according to the lower limit of the depth of field and the other object should be as far as possible. Both objects should be suitable that you can align them. The data mining works best with this setup. Hang a plumb line at a window frame as the near object. For the far object you could use the gable peak of a house. The illustration looks like this from above. Then you have to move the tripod in order that both objects are near the left image border and they should be seen exactly on top of each other. If you let the Pixplorer turn to the left with the menu only camera menu, both objects will move to the right image border. If the depth adjustment would be right, the position of them against each other must not change. If it changes, the camera is not sitting in its projection center. If the far object is on the left of the near one, the depth adjustment has to be increased. If the far one would be on the right, you have to reduce the depth. To change the depth, you have to loosen these two null screws. You should do these changes of the depth until your both objects are always on top of each other, no matter how the Pixplorer moves your camera. After that, fix the found value with the null screws. The adjustment of the height is explained in another video. The determined values of height and depth should be noted after all, because you can use these values again, with the same combination of camera, lens and focal length. We would be glad if you would send us your measurements to this email address, to help complementing the table at the Dr. Klaus website. Thanks in advance also on behalf of all the other Pixplorer users.